Welcome to Phillip Island then. Three rounds remaining in the 2001 500cc World Championship. We're down at Phillip Island. Fantastic rider's circuit. Almost perfect conditions down here. Uh, thank goodness we haven't got any of the weather we had earlier on this week. It looks pretty much perfect out there. Max Biaggi will start from pole position. His last chance, really, to have a say in this World Championship. Maybe just prevent uh, Valentino Rossi from claiming the title. And you can see that record he set in yesterday's qualifying. An impressive 131.984. Four tenths of a second quicker than anybody else around this track. And the man he was quicker than is Valentino Rossi. The two in the championship lining up 1-2 on this grid. 250 points to Valentino Rossi, 183 points to Max Biaggi. Biaggi really has to win this race and hope other people can get in front of Rossi if he wants to remain with any chance of taking the championship this year. First or second in this one does Max Biaggi. And uh, that's the only way, if Rossi then doesn't finish, it's the only way he can have any chance of taking the title. There you can see, 30 years old, the Italian, alongside him, Lorenzo Finale, crew chief as well. Marino, his... Uh, Preparer there as well. He's won three races this season. Le Mans, Assen, and in Saxon Ring as well. Uh, but uh, he needs to win here in Australia after that disappointment in Japan, in Motegi for the Pacific Grand Prix just a couple of weeks ago. Biaggi looks focused as ever. Bitter rivals, of course, with Valentino Rossi. It's been quite a bitter relationship they've had this season, of course. And to blows earlier on in the year, so they say. <laughs> but uh, Biaggi knows business has to be done here at Phillip Island. This is the man he needs to stop. Valentino Rossi, 22 years old, double world champion in 125s and in 250s. But could he take his first world championship here today in Australia? Jerry Burgess has seen it all before, and uh, it's his home track as well. Yeah, form would dictate that this should be the year of Valentino Rossi. One year of learning in the 125s, one year of championship. One year of learning in the 250s, one year of championship. Last year was his year of learning in MotoGP. You see Barry Sheen in the back of the shot there, working for uh, local Australian TV. Just getting word with uh, Valentino before the race and uh, the big hero, big friends off the track, uh, Rossi and Sheen. So 27 laps of this fabulous Phillip Island circuit in front of us. Nearly four and a half kilometres long. Your front row, Max Biaggi, Valentino Rossi, Alex Barros and Sete Gibinau on the outside on the Suzuki. Lining up on row two, we've got Olivier Jacques. A good showing from him ahead of Caparossi, Checa and Toro Ukawa, the first of the Repsol Hondas. On the third row, Shinya Nakano, Norik Abe, Nori Haga in 11th spot. And Kenny Roberts, the outgoing world champion. Could he say goodbye to that number one plate today? Alex Crivier, the 99 world champion, heads up ahead of Gary McCoy, Jürgen van der Goerberg on the Proton and Anthony West. Then it's Harashika Aoki, uh, Jose Luis Cardoso, Johan Stigerfeld and Leon Haslam on that V4 Honda. And then on the back row, Barry Veneman joined by the home rider, the youngster, Brendan Clark. This is a circuit where power isn't everything. It's all about rider skill. We usually have some thrilling races here at Phillip Island, and this wouldn't be uh, any different if it was to be the same. There's confirmation of the points as they stand. Rossi, 250. Biaggi, 183. So Biaggi, the only man who can stop Rossi. He needs to finish the race with a 50-point advantage. If he finishes first or second, then that's the it. That's it. That's the title is his. go off on their warm-up lap now. Tense moments these, aren't they? Very tense, and it's important to get some good heat into the tyres if you go around here. It is a, a decent day, but it's still not outstandingly warm. 16 degrees at the moment. Vital that these tyres are right up temperature because it's definitely going to be tight going down into turn one, that fast sweeping right-hander as they line up. We're on board now with Valentino Rossi as he weaves his way through the rest of the grid to take the spot in second position. They line up facing the Bass Strait. You can see the sea just over that crest there, and they will all dive into turn one. Call it Doohan Corner now, after the great Mick Doohan, five-time world champion. But who 
will be world champion in 2001. Will it be Biaggi? Will it be Rossi? The lights go out and away we go in Australia. It's a good start from those in the front row and a brilliant start from Rossi, it seems, who should get the whole shot. Yeah, Valentino Rossi, he's got the inside line at the moment. Biaggi won't want to give it to him, but there's no, he's round the outside. Max Biaggi doesn't hold it quite. Valentino Rossi takes it through the inside. And it looks like Shinya Nakano coming Jacques, up. Olivier Jacques, who's come through it is from Jacques. the second row and up Barros into the second position. Well. Biaggi's lost out in the second quarter there. Barros up into third, Biaggi in fourth. But Valentino Rossi exactly where he wants to be as they come round uh, for the first time through this fast turn four. So we've got Honda leading from Yamaha, but it's the wrong Yamaha in second place at the moment as far as Max Biaggi is concerned. And it might be the wrong Yamaha in first place. I'm sure Olivier Jacques led Look briefly at Nori there. Look Nori Ikihaga as well, up into fifth position. He's past fourth. Into fourth. He's now past Biaggi. He's got past Biaggi. Yamaha won't be lagging that one bit. Barros is up into second as well. Great opening lap, this one. Positions chopping and changing through the order, but it's Rossi leading and now from Alex Barros in second place. Olivier Jacques in third as they head through Siberia and up towards the Haitian. Round the Haitian we go up over the top of, of Luki Heights and down into NG. You can just see a glimpse of our outgoing world champion there, Kenny Roberts. He's dropped way back at the moment. Jack now under pressure from Noriki Hug. Hug goes around the outside and further back, Gary McCoy is having a better race. The home rider, of course, Gary McCoy, disappointing in qualifying, uh, disappointing uh, for much of the season as well. But uh, can he make an impression in his home race? No, he's uh, one of these riders who likes to get that bike sideways. They come into the final corner and surely he'll be smoking the rear tyre coming in there. But at the moment, the man doing the business is Valentino Rossi. Tucked in behind him, the Brazilian, Alex Barros. Then it's Jacques, Parga, Max Biaggi as well. They stream the way through. Arbe's in sixth, Gibbonau seventh. Van der Gerberg, great start from him. Down on par, of course, with that Proton triple. But it won't matter so much around this Phillip Island circuit. No, it won't, as long as he can keep the corner speed up. He should be able to hang with these guys down the straight. I don't think we'll be seeing him drafting anybody, but he might be able to surprise the people going into some of the slower corners. But here we go, Valentino Rossi. This is where he needs to be. He's got three riders between him and Max Biaggi. And if it were to stay like this, I know it's only lap two, but that would definitely be the championship. But Rossi, Aros just holding off Olivier Jacques there. And Harger, I'm impressed with Harger. This is only uh, the very beginning of the race, but he had a very good start. We haven't seen much from Laurie Hager this season, of course. Came over from Superbike, we're expecting uh, all sorts, weren't we, from uh, from Hargo. We haven't had that, but this is what we expected to see. The free-flowing riding of the Japanese Ooh, rider. Here he comes, Ooh. up through the Haitian. And up Barros the as well. And Barros, Barros, meanwhile, goes the into the lead. They come through and head up towards Luki Heights and Alex Barros. Claims the lead, Nori Hagel will now put pressure on Valentino Rossi down at MG Corner. Can Hagel go through on the Italian? No, not this time. Uh, Rossi defends his line. At the moment, we have to be watching Max Biaggi, though, who's in fifth position and just losing touch slightly with this front four. He needs to be in first or second position to have any chance of uh, keeping the championship alive. They go into the final corner, turn 13, to head down the straight, the Gardner straight, one more time. It's Barros from Rossi, Hagel in third. Okay, let's take a look at the power of a year-old Honda versus the current factory spec Honda and a privateer Yamaha, and it looks like Barros. He's a hard man to overtake. I mean, <laughs> it's, it's almost impossible to overtake Barros on the brakes, but you can definitely get around the outside of him if you carry good corner speed. And Rossi does not quite have the line. He's got to watch out that Hagen doesn't just pounce on him. If he's sweeping left and right around Barros, he could suddenly find a red bull Yamaha in the way of him. But I'm very impressed with the way that Hagen is riding. Obviously, he knows his track. He's raced here in World Superbikes. And there we go, confirmation that he knows what he's doing. A 133.6, fastest lap so far on lap two of two. Fastest Long way to go, there. though. Fastest man out there, and he's really all over the back of Rossi, isn't he? Really piling some pressure on the Italian, who's had a stellar year, of course. Eight victories already uh, this season. But uh, Nori Haga, good to see. We wanted to see this from him. Wanted to see him sliding that Yamaha about. Wanted to see the aggression that we... Uh, Got used he's going to for it again. He's going to go through. That's Same where he went place. through. A last slap on uh, Olivier Jacques. Vic Doohan watches on. He knows his way uh, around this circuit somewhat. But Hager goes up into second as they go over the rise of Luki Heights and drop down into MG. Will Rossi try and claim it back? Not this time. Hager closes his lines. Brilliant stuff from the Japanese rider. Up into second spot. And now he's the man chasing down Barros at the front. Good from Olivier Jacques as well, also. Not seen uh, so much from the uh, reigning 250cc world champion this season, but showing some good form here at Phillip Island. Of course, where he clinched at the championship one season ago against his teammate, Shinya Nakano. Yeah, and Nakano has been the one from that team who's shown 
more this season. But Rossi comes back, Rossi fights back. Now Hager just loses out there on the turn into Dewan Corner into turn one. But he's all <laughs> over the back. Has to actually shut off there because he carried too much speed up behind Valentin Rossi. But I'd look out for him again as we go through the hay shed. It's a very, very difficult place to pass. But Hager is carrying phenomenal corner speed with that Yamaha. Something that we've not really known him to do. but. Something about this track is really working for the Japanese rider. The Samurai Slide, they called him when he was in Superbikes. He's not shown us that so far this year, but there is hope yet. And it's really showing Rossi so really late. pushed very hard. Look at Biaggi's come through on Olivier Jacques. Came so from nowhere. Biaggi's starting to make some moves. Uh, Rossi had a thought about going up to the inside of Alex Barros, but you don't outbreak Alex Barros all too often. Barros leading now. They go through the southern loop from Valentino Rossi in second position, Nori Hager in third, then it's Max Biaggi. Of course, who knows, he needs to finish in the first or second position, and Rossi not finish the race, have any chance of keeping this championship alive. Olivier Jacques round the outside at Lukey Hags. Is he going to reclaim fourth spot from Biaggi? I think he will. The Frenchman goes through. The 250cc world champion uh, overtakes the four-time 250 world champion, Max Biaggi. He goes back into fourth. Yeah, I haven't said too much about Barros, have we, have we? But a real rider circuit this, and uh, there's someone who knows some of the kind of aggression that we see from Alex Barros, it should really suit him here. Yeah, I mean, he's doing just what he needs to do at the moment. He's out there, he's leading, he's setting good lap times. Max Biaggi now is the one that really needs to push on. He's got the extra power on that factory Yamaha uh, over Olivier Jacques, and that goes through up into fourth position. Well, down now he's straight. got good speed into there. He may have a look at Barros coming into turn two. He's not quite, he's definitely lining something up there. He knows that maybe he can get past there, but it's not quite enough speed at the moment. He needs to be right alongside, because there's just not enough room to just let the brakes off. It really does tighten up. It's much tighter than it looks, that corner. And uh, not quite as backed as it looks on TV, but now this is another place for Valentino Rossi. He's really had a look last time, but he's happy to just stay behind. I'm sure he won't be looking at his pit board at the moment, but he'll know who's behind him. You know, it's not even harder, and it's not a big problem at the moment. Valentino Rossi, he knows he's just got to, he's got to race how he's always raced this season, and that's racing to win. Yeah, he, I mean, he's, he's up there, he's doing all he needs to, he's just got to finish the race. Of course, with Valentino Rossi, you'd expect him to want to win the race well, but of course, uh, Nori Hager's in there, he wants his first taste of uh, podium champagne in 500cc. At the moment, he's uh, putting up a good showing, isn't he, against Valentino Rossi, and uh, through he goes into he second that position. Wide open there, though. I mean, if Rossi had been uh, on it a little bit more, he could have easily got back there. Hager didn't really defend the line; he was just happy to get through. Uh, so maybe look out for him there later on in the race. He might lose out a little bit unless he can start to defend his lines a little bit more. But I think he's just happy to be racing up at the front. Uh, you know, he's been suffering with just disappointing results all throughout the season you know he's had one fourth place that's been his best result so far that we saw in Donington another racetrack he knows from uh, superbike racing so not to say that he hasn't adapted well to the class but he just needs a little bit of home advantage as well as well here I guess so talking of home advantage Gary McCoy up to eighth position coming through the order getting there slowly okay we talk about this being the circuit the riders love above all others uh, just for its fast-flowing nature, there's nowhere really uh, that's too slow. Apart from here at Honda Corner and maybe down at MG as well, but the rest of it really links in really nicely together. They do love riding around here. Uh, bringing up the rear there, you can see Brendan Clark down in 22nd position, another uh, home rider, just the 18 years of age, so we can't expect too much from him. He's shown uh, enough, he might get a ride in the future, we'll have to wait and see. Barros then on the Honda Pons machine, leading from the Red Bull Yamaha of uh, Noriyuki Hager. It's Valentino Rossi in third, then Max Biaggi on the Marlboro Yamaha, just behind him, uh, Olivier Jacques on that Gorwa's Tech 3 bike. And these five have really bridged the rest of the field completely. I mean, there's quite a gap there to uh, Arbe behind them, leading the charge form in sixth position at the moment. And there's another gaggle behind these guys, including Sete Gibbonau, amongst others. Well, he's got Rossi in there as well. Yeah, the pace of these guys there is really starting to stretch at the moment, and they're really running at a good race pace at the moment. Now, let's see what Hogan can do as he tucks into the slip stream. He's right on him, a great shot oh, oh. from the helicopter, so close behind him. But look at that Honda. It's just, even in the slip stream, he can't get past him on the Yamaha. And trying to outbreak Barros into that turn is going to be very difficult. You've got to be right alongside in order but to he's going to have a go at the southern loop here is he Noriyuki Hager he's going to try and find the inside line I just don't think there's room not quite room there Barrett keeps it so tight but Parker can carry some mid corner speed 
then uh, we'll see a result coming down into Honda Corner. Fastest man on the circuit at the moment is Loris Capirossi, uh, the Italian, three-time world champion, uh, not had a great start to this race, and uh, dropped back from six, Rossi. he's down in ninth. But just the fastest lap of the race. Meanwhile, his compatriot Valentino Rossi will reclaim second position one more time. Such exciting stuff, this. In the Australian Grand Prix, you can see Jacques being able to close in as well. So we've got a front group of five here, all in with the shout of victory. Barros leading from Rossi, Harder in third, Biaggi in fourth, and Jacques in fifth. They go through Siberia, up into the hay shed. Very, very fast through there. Slows down as they start to make their way up to Lukey Heights. Maybe Rossi just got the hurry up call from his pit board. He would have seen plus nothing to Biaggi behind him, so he thought, maybe I'll just put another Yamaha in between me and him. Make sure he doesn't uh, you know, get any ideas or anything. And now, or perhaps Rossi has decided that he can have a go at Barros and maybe lead this race for a while because Barros has led here pretty much from the start and is uh, setting a good pace. But as the as you saw in the last lap round, tap, Rossi has set the fastest lap. Ooh, little twitch there from the rear from uh, Alex And that's Barros. given Rossi the run. Now, this is a 2001 spec Honda versus a 2000 spec Honda, and that's the power of that. Rossi doesn't lead over the line, but he was right alongside Barros just had the inside line and managed to defend it, but watch the corner speed Rossi through. carries here now. Yeah, I wonder if he's going to try and go through in the no. centre. Again, again he time. carries the speed, but Barros comes uh, later, doesn't he, to hit that apex, and uh, that just gives no room for Rossi to go through. But runs wide, Barros runs wide in the middle of the corner, and, and Rossi gets a better drive. No, not this time, it's not going to be maybe at Honda corner now. They go through the, the fast turn four now, and then they tighten up to go into Honda. No. Harder was having to think as well in the meantime. So Rossi might be attacking Alex Barros, but he's got to think about Nori Harger just in behind him. Max Biaggi's not too far behind either, nor is Olivier Jacques. What do you think Biaggi's wanting at the moment? Because he needs to beat Rossi, but he, he needs to win the race and he needs Rossi to finish, you know, fairly oh. far down, which is happening at the moment. Harger okay. once again through the Haitian. Very, very passes quick him through the Haitian, isn't it? But Biaggi needs other guys to get in the way, but he needs to get past these guys as well. So he's got a difficult difficult job he's got a difficult race to manage now at it's the not moment just a I, I think for Max Biaggi he just has to see what can happen in front he really needs Valentino Rossi not to finish the race we know yeah. that um, if uh, he were to finish uh, second Rossi could finish anywhere up to 13 and uh, still take the, still title, take the yeah. title so you know, he just wants to maybe see these guys battle it out with Rossi maybe there's a lot of things got to be going through Max Biaggi's head but he knows Look, I've got to win or finish second. And so uh, he needs to get a wriggle on at the moment. Nori Haga's going to have a look. And is Nori Haga going to be able to take this as well? Biaggi was having a think, wasn't he, up the inside of so Valentino Rossi. Third, and he's Biaggi, go does. Biaggi does. Biaggi well, does take it. This it's is uh, throwing a fly into the ointment somewhat. Max Biaggi on board the Marlboro Yamaha goes up into third position. The first time we've really seen any kind of aggression from Biaggi. And he does so at the Duan corner, goes through up into third position it's taken him eight laps to do it but he's finally made it he didn't have the best of starts he got balked a lot at the first corner and lost uh, lost out where Rossi led the race now let's see what Biaggi can do he's got the bit between his teeth he wants to keep Rossi behind him and have a go at the lead is Jacques and Rossi having a bit of a yeah bit of Rossi, Rossi taking a tight line to try and defend that from Olivier Jacques Barros now is starting to ride more defensively. This is Jose Luis Cardoso the second of the attendant three Yamaha's what's happened there we've, we've had some incidents in the pits Cardoso seems to, I don't know what's happened there, but certainly wasn't on the bike no. in pit lane. Anyway, back with the race leaders, Barras is still leading. Harger swarming all over the back. The black and white bike now is really struggling to hold that lead. Barras holding a much tighter line as we go down in. And again, Rossi having to take a very, very tight line to defend from Olivier Jacques. But the uh, West Honda Pons rider leading us through. But Increasingly under pressure, is he from Norrie oh, Harger? Harger. Whoever, whoever <laughs> thinks of passing at turn 12 and 13. Think, I don't think he thought about passing there. He suddenly saw a gap. I just wonder, I wonder if Barros just uh, let up slightly. To, to yeah, take a different look line. how much drive uh, Harger has yeah, lost down there. He's going to lose slightly. nearly three positions in, in one straight now. He just managed to hold on to the Well, Harger place, did lead a Grand Prix yeah. there for the first Three. time. <laughs> For about five meters, yeah. I think it was. <laughs> but now it's Biaggi who's taken advantage of that and up into second position. This is very interesting indeed. Barros now leading from Max Biaggi. Harger in third, Rossi still in fourth, Jacques in fifth position. Very, very intriguing stuff, this. We've got three Yamahas and two Hondas. So it weighted in, uh, in favour of the tuning fork manufacturer at the moment in this front group. But these guys, 
apart from Alex Bass, the guys behind him are still chopping and changing positions all the time, and that's not going to help their lap times at the moment. The guys behind, we saw earlier, Loris Kaparos has been setting some great lap times. Barros hasn't featured at the front of the lap charts yet, so these guys not lapping as fast as the guys behind them. And Harger. But a Harger round the outside coming out of Siberia. Whoa. That was amazing drive. He's, <laughs> he's, he's got something, hasn't he, through there. He certainly knows what line he needs to take and how much speed he can carry uh, through those corners. And carrying corner speed to go past Max Biaggi is a feat in itself. Uh, so, Harger goes back into second position. I wonder if he's going to have another little dig at Alex Barros going round at uh, turn 12 drive and 13. He got again once more coming out of NG. He really he pulled away from Biaggi so much and was right on the back of Alex Barros. I wonder how much good that could be. He's having this another go. He's going to go again. Round. This That's time, it. is he going to block the line for Alex Barros? Yeah. And he does. Nori Harger takes the lead. Then this time, it seems to stick. Can the power of the Honda see Barros reclaim the lead as they go down to Doohan as well? Very, very late on the brakes. Watch Biaggi. out for Biaggi as well on the outside. But it's going to be Harger breaking so, so late. He's outbreaked Alex Barros going into Doohan corner. Harger leading now from Barros in second position. Biaggi in third. Rossi, no. Rossi's going to Rossi's go through. Into oh, no love lost between the two Italians. Rossi uh, reclaims third from Biaggi in the southern. Look, this is brilliant stuff down here at Phillip Island. Nuri Haga leading the race, leading a Grand Prix for the first time. Great stuff from Noriyuki Haga, leading Alex Barros. Look at Olivier Jacques now, is Jacques going to have a... No, Barros a takes the lead, Barros <laughs> takes the lead, Rossi holds on to third, Jack tries to ride round the outside the current Champions League, Haga's not given up yet, just manages I to... I watch uh, him through Siberia and the Haitians one more he's time. He's got the bit between his teeth, look at the drive, he's so close, he's round the outside of him if we go here, they'll carry the corner speed, then we flick it left and right into the haystack, and he's passed before they even make it to the apex of the corner. Brilliant Great stuff riding. from Norrie Harga, absolutely brilliant. This is turning out to be a classic Australian Grand Prix. From people we weren't expecting, Olivier <laughs> Jacques and Norrie Yuki Harga, who would have put money on them coming into this Grand Prix? We know Jacques likes this circuit after last season's uh, championship win, of course, but uh, Norrie Yuki Harga's had a success here at Phillip Island in Superbikes before, but this is uh, something we haven't seen from him so far this season. Great to see, really is very good to see uh, Nori Haga able to do this in a 500cc race. So, he took a very wide line coming through there and he's really exposed himself. The other two have joined up. This is Rossi him. on board with Valentino Rossi. Is he going to try and claim the lead? Oh, oh. they touch! They actually touch wow. at 200 miles an hour. Barros and Front Valentino Rossi. Rossi have to say, Biaggi must be rubbing his hands there almost. Because what he needs is Rossi not to finish. Round the Round outside, the outside oh, now, no Valentino way. Rossi. No, he's not going to make it stick, is he? No, no. And he loses out to Barros in the end as well. So any gain he would have got from that, he lost out to just by running a bit too hot. And the end now, Biaggi is having a look at him. But there was a puff of smoke as the front tyre of Valentino Rossi just clipped the and back tyre of Alex Barros. And Barros is trying to do Up the same thing the corner. Haga. Takes the lead, does the Brazilian. Haga defends it as much as possible. He's going to try and get good drive coming out of here. He's still with Barros, but there won't be room. Here's the replay of this as just Barros cuts across and oh, there's the oh. puff of smoke as they just touch so close to the on board curve. You well, can really see. Don't want to be crashing there. The fastest point on the whole of the Phillip Island circuit. Here comes Harger again. He's going to have another attack and Harger's back again. And there's nothing that anybody can do about it at that point. He is riding like a demon today. The samurai of slide goes through and back into the lead. Oh, we've seen a... Puffs of smoke from his rear tie, puffs of smoke from the front tire of Valentino Rossi as it rubbed with Alex Barros. His heart must have been in his mouth then because, uh, of course, if he doesn't finish this race and Piaggi finishes first or second, then the championship is still wide open. At the moment, they smoke their tyres going through turn 13 to come down into the Garden of Straight one more time. Still a long way to go in this race, and there's Jose Luis Cardoso uh, being taken away in an avenue. It looks as though that looked like a, someone in the... Uh, the Gorwaz Yamaha pick being taken away as well. I wonder if he's had a collision in pit lane. Meanwhile, on the track, uh, 15 laps remaining as they cross the start finish line. Barros reclaims the lead though, with Harger in second place, Rossi now in third, Biaggi in fourth, Jacques in fifth, Cardoso uh, with a brace around his neck, and the Dantine uh, rider will be taken away. Let's hope there's no one seriously injured down there in pit lane. Okay, we have a front group of five battling out for the lead, but look in the top of your screen, there we go. The second group is starting to close. There's another bunch Loris of six Capirossi. riders yeah, leading all them coming charge in. through as well. Rossi to second. All Rossi the time they, 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 they battle out in this group as uh, Rossi, as you say, goes up into second position at Honda Corner. All the time they do this, you can see Capi Rossi is getting closer. It's just helping the guys behind. Making massive inroads over the last couple of laps. And he carries on at this pace within 
two or three more laps, we'll have a group of six riders at the front rather than five that we have at the moment. Jack still at the back of this group, not for long though because he's having a look at Max Piaggi and does in fact take fourth position away from the Italian. No heroics this time from Noriaga through uh, Siberia and through the hay shed. Uh, Valentino Rossi had a look, didn't he, up the inside of Barros, but as we say, outbreaking breaking Alex Barros is uh, a big feat. And a you need to take him in the mid corner like Noriaga. You have to stand the bike up in front of him. Now Rossi is having a look at the same way. Busy Barros takes a very, very wide line there, which is why Haga saw a way through. And Valentino Rossi was having a look at the same position as well. He had a, a great shot of Haga doing it and knows what he can do. But now we're on board with Rossi. Barros leads over the line, but Rossi takes the lead and four abreast as we go in. Rossi into the lead, Haga in second. Barros loses out two positions in the space of one straight and one corner to sit in third position. Now Valentino Rossi leading this Australian Grand Prix. Max Biaggi down in fifth. And this will be the championship over. And Loris Capirossi, the gap between Biaggi and Capirossi is now under a second. And Capirossi is bringing along with him Gary McCoy too. This is turning into a, a real classic. The McCoy, and it looked like Arbe as well with him coming along. So Rossi now leads. It's, I'm not going to even say the positions anymore because at the moment it's changing every single corner. <laughs> yeah, Rossi leading. Back. Haga in second. Capo Rossi in third. is now right on the back oh, of these guys. We have a fight of six now. Capo Rossi, what has he been doing over the last few laps to be lapping as he is? It's uh, Rossi leading from Haga, Barros, then it's Biaggi. Then it looks like Olivier Jacques under now, pressure now from Loris Capirossi. There There's McCoy, there's Okawa. Okawa coming along with and him. And then we've too. got Nakano, Jibanao and Jürgen van der Gorberg as well, not completely out of this at the moment. Thrilling stuff then at Phillip Island. Um, blue skies as well, the clouds that were here earlier seem to have dissipated somewhat.